Hi everyone, Ron Kreider reporting for duty today. It is Monday. It is January the 18th. I got these numbers in about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Sorry for the delay. Very, very busy day here today. Apologize for that. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. We have 136 new deaths reported in the past 24 hours. That's four more than yesterday. Yesterday we had 132. We had 8,002 new positives. That's 3,091 less than yesterday. Yesterday on Sunday we had 11,093. So that's a good thing. At least our positives came down. Our deaths went up just a little bit. Hate these deaths being way over 100. 136 is just not good at all. Total number of people who have been vaccinated in the entire state of Florida. Those other numbers I just gave you was for the entire state of Florida as well. Total number of people vaccinated in the entire state of Florida now. 1 million 099, 1,099,535 number of people who were vaccinated in the past 24 hours, 91,819. So they, a lot of people were vaccinated here in the past 24 hours. Let's take a look at Miami-Dade. 22 people passed away in the past 24 hours, 1,844 new positives. Down there, they had 119,228 total people vaccinated, 3,546 vaccinated in the past 24 hours. In Broward County, that's Fort Lauderdale, 14 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 908 new positives. 92,980 people have been vaccinated in Broward County. You now, Broward County's got about a million and a half people. So it's beginning to make just a teeny dent there. 2,314 vaccinated in the past 24 hours in the Fort Lauderdale area. Up in West Palm Beach, Palm Beach County, one new death to report in the past 24 hours, 525 new positives. They've done 86,144 total vaccinations since we started vaccinating, 3,476 in the past 24 hours. In Orange County, that's Orlando, one new death to report, 419 new positives, 60,758 total people have been vaccinated in Orange County thus far, 279 in the past 24 hours. Let me move this down here a little bit, and here we are in Brevard County, that's Melbourne, no new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 149 new positives, 24,846 have been vaccinated thus far in the Melbourne Brevard County area, 627 in the past 24 hours. In St. Lucie County, that's Fort Pierce, no new deaths to report, 131 new positives. Fort Pierce, St. Lucie County, they vaccinated 13,479 thus far, 261 in the past 24 hours. Martin County is Stewart, no new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 30 new positives, 8,206 total vaccinations thus far, 258 in the past 24 hours. And then in Indian River County, where I am here, two new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 54 new positives. Here in Indian River County, we have vaccinated 7,731 since we started vaccinating folks and 476 in the past 24 hours. Let's scroll down here just a little bit and show you these zip codes for the positives for the past 24 hours. Zip code 32948, no new positives. Zip code 32958, 10 new positives in the past 24 hours here in Indian River County. 32960, 9 new positives. 32962, Six new positives, zip code 32963 here on the Barrier Island, two new positives in the past 24 hours, zip code 32966, nine new positives, zip code 32967, 12 new positives in the past 24 hours, and zip code 32968, six new positives in the past 24 hours. Alrighty, folks, so those are the numbers that we're dealing with right now. Let's move down here. I will show you, well, I'll show you the, um, this is the seven-day moving average is very big number, 159.71. I mentioned this the other day, remember when we were in the 60s and 70s and feeling bad about that. Okay, so here we are now. Unfortunately, I can't give you the, 
the up-to-date deaths for the past 24 hours. So all the deaths you're going to see over here on the right-hand side are going to be in the past 48 hours. All right, let's take a look now at the total number of distributed vials of the vaccination for the entire United States that were distributed to the states of the United States, 31,161,075. Total number of administered shots so far, 14,306,422. And in the past 24 hours in the United States, 635,712. And in the United States, 48 hours ago, 1,845 people passed away as a result of COVID-19. All righty. In Texas, Texas vaccinated 76,053 in the past 24 hours, 209 deaths in the past 48 hours. California vaccinated 114,815 in the past 24 hours, 201 new deaths in the past 48 hours. Florida, 74,831 in the past 24 hours, 132 new deaths 48 hours ago. Rhode Island, I don't have any information on Rhode Island. This is the same number I've had for a couple of days, so we're going to let them stand here for the moment. Colorado, 20,727 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours, 16 new deaths in the past 48 hours out there in Colorado. I have no new information to report on the number of vaccinations in Wisconsin. When I put this together today, one new death reported 48 hours ago in Wisconsin as a result of COVID-19. Now, if we go down here to Minnesota, Minnesota, 14,624 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours, 40 new deaths in the past 48 hours. In Jersey, 12,227 vaccinations, recent vaccinations in the past 24 hours, 24 deaths. At least the deaths are coming down somewhat. They were up there very high. 24 new deaths in the past 48 hours. Come down here just a teeny bit further and take a look at... Uh, New York. All right. So these are the new numbers we have for New York. We have uh, 138,028 new vaccinations in the 20 past 24 hours. That's for the state of New York. Then we have a separate number for New York City, 33,682. And they have uh, had 204 deaths for the entire state of New York 48 hours ago. All righty, folks. So those are those numbers. And then we always have to take a look at the worst numbers. These are the biggest numbers we have of all, as you know. Uh, USA cases since we had started this pandemic back in March, 24,045,025 USA deaths, almost to 400,000, 398,588. The largest number on the screen here is the total number of cases worldwide, 95,440,639. Total number of deaths as a result of COVID-19 today, 2,037,076. So those are the numbers for today. I have another little bit of information here. Let me see if I can find this for you. In Florida, 850,000. 556 people have received their first dose of vaccine, or about 3.96% of the Florida's population. So far, 87,074 people have completed a series of doses, and that represents about 0.41% percent of the population. A little less than a half a percent of the entire state of, of Florida has been vaccinated thus far. All right, okay, folks, those are the numbers for today. I'm Ron Kreider reporting the numbers every day from the Victoria Condominium here in Vero Beach over in Indian River Shores. And uh, you notice at the end, I always put up a little bit of little video here. I might change that out a little bit from time to time. Some people like it. And, you know, after you've seen it a couple of times, it gets a little boring, but it's a little sailboat floating around our ocean at our beach here at the Victoria Condominium. I say this every day, uh, 13 acres of paradise. That's what we call this place, 13 acres of paradise. Lots of beach, lots of grounds, lots of greenery, and a little sailboat sailing out there. And then I also roll a little overview of the places that we recommend. Now, I've been in Vero since 1980, so I have a pretty good idea what the best restaurants are and the best businesses to, to visit. They don't pay me anything to put those there. I like to say this every once in a while about the Ocean Grill. Ocean Grill gets a bit of a bad rap sometimes from the locals around here. Ah, it's a tourist trap. 
Well, guess what? It's a tourist magnet. That's what it is. It's a tourist magnet. It sucks people in there. It's one of the most successful restaurants on the Treasure Coast. I don't know about the rest of Florida, but for the Treasure Coast, it's definitely the most successful restaurant on the entire Treasure Coast. It's successful from the standpoint of the amount of business that they do. They have a terrific menu. They have good food. They always are rated well. The, they get high marks constantly for their wine and their food preparation. No, it's not a gourmet restaurant. It's a large restaurant, seats a lot of people, but the food is very good and very tasty. Crab cakes are exceptionally good over there at the Ocean Grill. I always have to mention, of course, uh, the Tides restaurant because it's one of our favorite restaurants here, and it's been, as far as I'm concerned, the top one of the top 10 restaurants, generally the number one restaurant, at least for the past 10 years here in Indian River County and the Treasure Coast for for that matter, it doesn't get any better than Leanne Kelleher, Chef Leanne Kelleher's restaurant. So go on over there to the Tides and give that a try as well. And all the other places that I list on here are places that I frequent. I used to frequent them a lot more than I do right now. But all the places you see here that are going to crawl through there are places that we frequent and we enjoy. And we and they're good all the time. Alrighty, Ron Kreider signing off for Monday. Remember what I tell you every day. We have to distance space. You have to wear your mask. We are the ones that are causing this pandemic to continue and these numbers going up. And remember, as I kind of stupidly say, only you can prevent the spread of this COVID-19. Pretty lame, huh? Sorry about that. Hope you have a very pleasant rest of your evening here on Monday evening. I look forward to seeing you back here on Tuesday. Ron Kreider signing off.